Assalamu alaikum, namaste, sasriyakal, it's your boy Gucci, you don't know what time it is. I wanted to put a video out there quickly because a lot of people asked me, they said to me that look, um, you know, you deal with real estate and would you invest in a property in uh, any country um, without looking at the property and having an online viewing? So I wanted to give my perspective of what I think about online viewings and this could go out to the agents and the brokers and people out there that are involved in real estate. Me being myself from London and um, I'm somebody who went to Dubai recently and um, I had a look at the property market in Dubai and um, I wanted to quickly say something. Dubai is a lovely place for a holiday and it's a lovely place and it's sometimes it's good to invest but the most riskiest investment we can ever make and people always say the most, um, the, the investment that you can make, the safest investment is uh, in property. That's not true. 22 years of real estate, real estate experience, I'm going to give you my honest uh, opinion because I'm not here trying to sell you anything. I'm not here trying to um, um, be a salesman and I'm not trying to do any of that. So I'm, I'm giving you an honest perspective of what I would do. First and foremost, do online viewings work? Hell no. Do you think anybody who is investing in property is going to make a decision of investing or spend, spending that kind of money, depending on what your budget is and what your bracket is and where you stand financially? So do you really think somebody's gonna go and spend a ton of money by looking at something on a computer? The reason people will not invest in that is first and foremost, when it comes to property, when it comes to investment, you need to have a lot of trust with the person that you're dealing with. And sometimes what people don't realize is that you can make an investment and you can put some money somewhere and you don't know where that money will end up and you don't know that even if you're going to make a valid investment. So first question, that was put to me, would I invest on an online viewing or invest in something? Forget the online viewing. Would I invest abroad with an online viewing? Never! <laughs> Listen, I'd rather go out and it's like shooting yourself in the head. Like, you cannot do that. It's just, it's not something which I would personally, it's just my opinion. I can't give you real estate advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your, I'm not your broker, your consultant, or your estate agent. But one thing I'm going to say is never invest in anything you can't see. The reason, and to the brokers and the consultants out there, why it doesn't work, I'll give you my analogy of why it won't work. The reason it won't work is when it comes to real estate and when it comes to buying a home, or when it comes to investing in property and when it comes to when it comes to parting with your cash or your money or your finances the first thing you have to understand is that you don't know what the other person's thinking you can send a check to somebody you can send money to somebody and you're it's not going to be a small amount when you're investing in property. So you just don't know what can happen. And the reason it won't work to the brokers and the consultants is because when people are investing or buying or, or, or going for a home, there needs to be an emotional connection. And you cannot, you can, many people won't agree with me. And I understand because not everybody's smart out there, but a lot of people won't agree with me but I will say it as it is you can you need to be emotional when you're going for a home so you need to go somewhere and have a feel now you can go to a house and you can go outside and you don't know what the neighbors are like you don't know what the outside of the property is like you don't know where like it's just it needs to be you need to walk into your home and you need to feel emotionally drawn to it same goes for an investment so would online viewings and all of these things work? You, if you're somebody who's a small broker and who's looking to do one deal a month, it's okay. If you're somebody who has an organization and you're looking at you, you've got overheads, you've got costs, you've got staff, you've got people to pay for, it won't work because what happens is you won't have 
enough deals and that domino effect that people create within a business because it's all about numbers and how many sales we have how many lettings or leasings we do how many buyers and tenants we're engaging with so the bottom line is it's not feasible for a business and i'd love to I'm, i know i'm probably the only person who's going to break the bubble and say this and everybody's like i'm going to do it online i'm going to do it online look it's 2020 a recession has been announced now the recession in the UK has been announced by the Bank of England, in France it's been announced, and if the market in London, in UK is no good, in America is no good, there's no way in the world that any part of East will be invested in. If, when people have investments abroad, they invest locally, then they go and invest internationally, which is a niche in the market. So guys, my real answer to all of this is, do online viewings work? And can brokers and consultants make money for online viewings? If you have your own business, if you're solo, then yes, you might do a deal here and you might deal, do a deal here. Depends how much, if you're over leveraged, then hell no, it won't work. Anyways, peace, holla at your boy. You don't know what time it is. And guys, all I'm going to say is in this time right now, um, don't waste your time in meetings. Don't waste your time in like bullshit. And don't wait for the market to get better because I'm telling you this today. There's nothing happening for the next 18 months till the vaccine doesn't come out. And even when the vaccine comes out, it's going to take at least three to five years for the property market to go in a good direction. Because at the moment, people are got up basically hand to mouth. So it's really bad. So all I'm going to say is that be positive and understand something that if you've created a big ball of, let's say, sorry, if you've invested a lot and you've over leveraged yourself it's time to cut down staff it's time to get rid of people that are selling your dreams and it's time to get key players who give you honest advice because you might not like my advice but look at your bank account and look at what is going on this is for the ceos and investors and people out there look at your bank account look at the investments you made look at your businesses and look are you accumulating profits or are you in a decline? So the question for me to you is, you be the judge and you tell me, where is your bank account going? Peace, holla at your boy. You don't know what time it is. It's your boy.